of this? Sort of, I know, I know. Sort of, you know. I know, I know, I know. I Not what we're here for. <laughs> Out of here, cigarettes. I hate you. Why would you let go of me? I will be free of you. Um, I should never, ever, ever try to stop smoking and diet at the same time because it is just like... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I find myself just like cleaning things to like occupy my time. Like, awesome. I'll smell chocolate bars and then go and like do a sit up and be like, "Fuck it." Sit in the corner and cry. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we start uh, every episode with the countdown. Yeah, it's yeah, it's countdown, make it official. Uh, don't don't start at 10. <laughs> we don't have time. We'll do it rock and roll style. Four, three, two, one. And we are back for probably the most epic of Chronic Fatigue episodes with our very first musical guest, Tribune. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you for having Thank us, Dave. Much. I'm fucking excited to have you guys. We always have some pretty hilarious conversations, so I'm <laughs> yeah. really glad to get you guys on the podcast. Um, normally, we start with a reading from Christwire. Have you guys heard of this website? No. No. What is this? Well, it is probably the most ridiculous website you guys will ever read. It is a Christian fundamentalist uh, website. Wow. Um, with topics such as uh, blacks scarier at night? Question mark. Wow. <laughs> um, really? How to punish your homosexual child? Ah. Um, other very awesome things like that. So Important I, information yeah. all Christians should know. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> the enemy's literature. How to yeah. oppress the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah. So I've given you guys a choice. Um, since we, uh, it's like Jeopardy. Yes. <laughs> Since we know each other from the studio, I thought uh, you guys might enjoy how to spot a pop punk rocker. Oh. Or I'm pretty sure I already know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or this one's pretty funny. Afro gay, the most violent gay breed yet. Ah yes. <laughs> and and this one comes with a picture that you guys might enjoy. Oh yeah. Let's see this. Oh shit. I think I just opened the fucking website. You. There we go. You guys can pass that. Oh around. man! <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can see an arrow pointing to their skin Urban that says backwards hat, gang tattoos, slave colored <laughs> skin. Yeah. That, that's my favorite one. Stolen <laughs> jeans. Stolen jeans. Stolen. Stolen. Not just Stolen. wearing Stolen. jeans. Expensive jeans. Yeah, too. expensive. <laughs> Gotta steal the good quality. Yeah. <laughs> Stolen. Just that simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just look for these. Uh, Stolen jeans. Slave colored slave skin. Colored skin. <laughs> And you'll be able to spot an Afro gay, the most violent gay breed yet. Yes. Scientists pretty, have been toiling. They look pretty violent. In that picture too, yeah. <laughs> I think boys to men has to leave the country. Yeah, I don't doubt. They look like they could blow each other and then beat you up. That's frightening. So, which one will it be, gentlemen? I'm gonna have to go with the Afro gay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, excellent, totally. choice. Yeah, excellent choice. Yeah, excellent choice. Yeah. Excellent choice. What, what were the other choices? Um, the other choice was the how to spot a pop punk. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go to camp wherever five years ago. Yeah. It's just full of that. Yeah. All right. So I will do my best to read, although I'm very tired. We we don't read it all, but I'll just read certain segments. Uh, it starts off. Uh, just when you thought the Mexi gay, I assume they took <laughs> gay and Mexican and, and made one word. Uh, was the, yeah, <laughs> isn't it? Was the most vile crossbreed of homosexual the homo gay community unleashed yet? <laughs> Oh, yet another genetic monstrosity. The Afro-gay. Stronger, 
faster, hipper, and even more of a minority than a Filipino redhead. That's hard to come by. <laughs> then, apparently. <laughs> With this new type of gay, in quotation marks, they can now double, double up on their government assistance. Oh, God, that's terrible. Which will drain your wallets faster. Not only do they get, uh, get to food stamps... Colored people scholarships. Colored people. I thought that phrase died in the '60s. Yeah. Um, and have the protection of the ter- the terrorist group known as the NAACP. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. The NWA. Oh. You want to hit that? This is very unprofessional. I have hors d'oeuvres in the oven. That's very funny. No, it's the little beepy thing I read there. Maybe thing. Oh, oh, just throw it. There you go. And you just, uh, <laughs> just open the oven door. It's fine. It's just yeah. it's like we will edit time. this out. <laughs> we'll just cut. It'll be NAACP, and then it'll just cut to right now. <laughs> um, this group can also collect gay welfare. Is that gay welfare? Gay welfare. Gay welfare. Yeah, I don't they, think that exists. No. They pay you in a bag of dicks. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm hungry. Um, cheap dicks. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're they're, they're <laughs> Asian. They're like they're small. <laughs> Stolen dicks. They come in twelve packs. Uh, <laughs> they come in twelve packs with a little like like the little things that beards are attached to. You like break them off. <laughs> oh, I need some buns. I need some buns. And give me some buns. Um, this group can also collect gay welfare and is gi- uh, give the green light to anything they want. Stopping them from illegal activity is now not only racist, but homophobic at the same time. Exclamation point! <laughs> okay. Um, it's like a mad homologist concord, an animal mixed with a dangerous tiger. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, concocted. Sorry, I am seriously hurt here. by the KKK? <laughs> it, 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 no, this I'm is... Kidding. I googled it. Now, some people think it's a spoof website, but I don't know, man. I've heard some pretty outrageous shit from um, religious people. Some people look crazy. Yeah, and it's all, like, if you look at it, it's all, like, um, like Texas and uh, mm-hmm. Alabama mm-hmm. and, like, the where, where you would expect this type of shit to fucking mm-hmm. come up. And the KKK. Up. And the KKK, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so then they have a subtitle, Why Make an Afro-Gay? <laughs> Instead of impregnating white women and leaving them to fend for themselves, they are trying to make America its own baby mama. I love when they use baby like mama. yeah. I love when they use like language they've heard yeah. like yeah. It's like pop culture yeah. The gay community and liberals want to use Afro gays to not only spread crime and drugs, but also spread Zulu like diseases across the holy Zulu-like land of us. Diseases. Zulu like diseases. What are those exactly? They reference Zulu like a lot. I've read this website. That's like their go to like thing. Uh, the liberals also know that the black community is one of the biggest. Rest. Who wants to help me out here? What's what that? What are you looking at? What is that? Did it say res- Play basketball? No. Yeah. Take your thumb off. Take your finger off there. Resistors. 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 Well, that is embarrassing for me. Uh, resistors of the gay lifestyle. So they believe if they can plant a type of gay that can play basketball, rap, and rob liquor stores, because that's the three things black people are good at, yeah. apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, Thai cornrows it has slowly forced the black community to integrate with the homos. It is only a matter of time until rap songs go from straight up s- slanging in the hood to straight up man sex with my home dog's chocolate star. <laughs> and that concludes the reading of Christwire. Reading from Christwire. That was our jingle. Nice. So that's uh, thoughts. Initial thoughts about Christwire? Uh, bold. It's very uh, bold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unintelligent? That's. Uh, well, it has yeah. some, some very big words, yet they say some very strange things. They have big words, obviously, because yeah, I needed yeah. assistance with yeah. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that end comment, too, you know, it sounded like, you know, he just went into that area where, you know, he's probably actually got a crush on, yeah. you know, yeah. on the, on the so black community, some, you know? Yeah. He's, 
repressed homoerotic. Yeah, yeah. He's a, a, he, once his wife goes to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Find these people and bring them to me. To bring them. Yeah. <laughs> they must be round up and brought to my bedroom. Yeah. And he must leave and go away. Yeah. I will punish them. Um, <laughs> I'm so I, like I, your smooth slave colored skin. Yeah, your smooth slave colored skin. <laughs> Um, I read one. They had one about how Thor, the movie Thor, is like the most um, like uh, has a, a gay agenda to turn like young people, and it had all these like reasons why. It's like his hair is long. He wears skin tight armor, and it's, like, and it's like somebody wrote like only only somebody who's looking for gay things could spot these things. Yeah, yeah like, totally. Like you'd have to be like looking for it. Yeah. Um, what do we else have we on the in- agenda? Introductions, reading of Christ Wire. Oh, monkey hookers. I just wrote monkey hookers. I read a book called Freakonomics. Have you guys heard about this book? No, I've heard about it. I've it's fucking it. really badass. And one of the, the closing story um, they talk about is how they were trying to show a group of monkeys, I guess I should say like chimps or something. Okay, they're not politically correct. Yeah. <laughs> chimps. They yeah, showed some slave colored skin, yeah. um, <laughs> the meaning of money. Um, and eventually. They, they got the monkeys to understand that if they had a small wooden disc that they could trade this in for a treat. Huh. So they knew to get the disc, um, they meant, meant they, they could get a treat. So eventually, it got to the point where male monkeys were giving the discs to female monkeys... And they were letting them have sex with them. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, and they, they are the closest relative to men. Yeah, I know. They're so <laughs> much <laughs> like us. That's the root of all evil, right? Yeah, yeah. those yeah. small wooden disc. Yeah, yeah. small wooden disc. <laughs> yeah. This is this is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, and this uh, monkey's name is John. Yeah, John. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they had to take the discs away because they were worried about it permanently. Affecting the monkey's culture, like so, it has ours. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They would, we yeah. wouldn't want them to turn into us now. Here's yeah. this metal coin. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, ancient times. So yeah. it makes you wonder: Was it aliens who introduced <laughs> the metal discs to us? The metal discs, and they were laughing at us because we were giving them to hump each other. Yeah, like now stupid it's our humans. Turn. Yeah, it's now it's our turn monkeys. to give it to no them. How do we introduce? We were the metal tricked. Let's fuck up someone else's life. <laughs> <laughs> they create <a> prostitution. <laughs> All right, I've got a couple more things, but we've got about 15 minutes, so let's fucking pause and get baked. Cool. Pause for the cause. All right, everybody, we will be back soon. Enjoy this musical interlude by Tribune.